Good morning, all you young people. This is Collisions uh, Children, or Youth Message. It is Sunday, uh, January 31st, last day of the month. I thank those of you young people that continue to watch these devotions. I thank the parents that encourage you to watch them. I thank those of you that choose to share these videos to get the word out to more people. Just had a young young man in, uh, in Syria that uh, that uh, friended me. Uh, well, come on, Sherry. Um, I, I take it you're friends with Don. I just saw that you went to Whitney High School here in Cerritos. Uh, we had three different girls from our church that went to uh, went to Whitney uh, to Whitney Church or Whitney uh, High School. Quite a high school there. Uh, so anyway, thank you for your willingness to uh, to give. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Grace. I trust that uh, that your girls, Liz and Julissa, are watching with you. Girls, miss you. Look forward to when we can meet again as a group. Um, so anyway, let me uh, let me. Oh, Veronica. Good morning with oh, Grace. And I'm getting you mixed up now, Grace. You're you're with the boys, Veronica. You're with the girls, uh, Grace. I trust that uh, Manny and Ray are with you. Look forward to meeting and seeing them again. Let me open with a prayer. Father, thank you for all your young, the young people. Oh, God, I, as you know, you've given me a heart for young people. I love working with young people. Um, I pray, God, that you would encourage them here this morning, uh, build up their faith, make them stronger so that they can withstand the evil one for the rest of their life. Uh, teach us something. Amen. Uh, we're in 2 John chapter 1. I'm going to read verses 7 through 9, something important that we're going to talk about today. It says, many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world. Any such person is a deceiver in the Antichrist. Watch out that you do not lose what you have worked for, but that you may be rewarded fully. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. God warns us not to lose everything that we've worked for. Um, I've seen people uh, that have worked hard um, to lose weight. Uh, I know some people like many, maybe some of you young people do this uh, in Lent. In Lent, you, you give up things. A lot of times you give up things for a wrong reason so that you can lose weight. But but young people struggle with uh, with weight now. It, it, it's 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 a different era. It was fast food and, and and not that much cooking at home, and and so we're eating the wrong kinds of foods. We're eating too much food, and and so sometimes we work hard at losing the weight, and then all of a sudden we stop and we lose weight and we gain it all back. I, I golf with a, a guy that, uh, and he's only forty years old, so he's he's an adult, but he's still only forty. And, and he went on a, on a cleansing diet, and he lost 10 pounds. And he was all excited, and then he stopped it, and then he's already gained 5 pounds back. Uh, we we spend t work hard at trying to get into shape. Um, and then we all of a sudden stop, and we're right back to huffing and puffing. <laughs> and it's amazing how many of you young people, it, it's interesting. Young people don't get the exercise that they did in Meyer because you got those all those video gadgets and all those social media gadgets that that you spend all your time on and you don't get the exercise that that we did as kids playing all the time uh and so kids are out of shape today uh young people so anyway this is why god tells us in ephesians 4 uh 20 through 24 he tells us this you however did not come to know christ that way Surely you heard of him and were taught in him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on your new self, created to be like God in righteousness and holiness. When you became a Christian, you you God wanted you to Put off that old self, that, that that who you were, and now to become the new person that you are in Christ. Well, good morning, Amber. Good to see you again. How are your children? Boy, I remember when I took you for 
for your, I think it was your 16th birthday to, uh, to celebrate, or maybe it was your 18th, I think it was your 16th. Anyway, uh, we, we, we're, we're taught, uh, here's what I was taught, finally. I was taught that eating right and exercising is not a diet. It's not a diet. That it's a way of life. It's something that you continue for the rest of your life. I remember when Rob Spencer first talked to me about losing weight and getting in shape because I did a top message at Collision Church and he came up to me afterwards and asked how serious I was. And I said, I'm serious. He said, no, 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 really. how serious are you? And I'm like, serious? He said, I'm not going to waste my time with you if you're not serious. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, this is something you don't just do now for a month or for a year. It's something to do the rest of your life. So I made that commitment without realizing, wow. And so for four years, for four years, I met with him at his dojo three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for an hour and a half. Many times you take me to the beach to run in the sand, etc. cetera, for, for four years. And then I continued on my own and I continue to this day. And it's what, eight years later, I learned that it's a way of life. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be in shape and physically fit, I can't just do it, get in shape, and then quit because you just go right back to where you were before. It, it, it's a way of life. Uh, and, and that's what God is saying about your faith. It's not just something you do for a while until you get strong and then you quit. No, no, it's a way of life, young people. That's something you do now for the rest of your life. Not just something you do for a while. You do it all your life. That means, that means daily prayer. That means you listening to God through through His Scripture reading. That means watching these 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 messages, watching the Sunday message, watching Impact, watching Crash. And some of you are mature enough to be watching the daily devotions. It's a commitment. We talked about that at Impact about that big word commitment. And Sammy. If you're watching, you made that commitment saying, I'm going to watch Impact every single week no matter what. It's a commitment we make for the rest of our lives. If you want to be strong, if you want to be strong, I've made that commitment to eat right and to exercise for the rest of my life. So now even during this pandemic, I go to Regional Park right over here in Bloomfield in 195th there, right next to Target. And on both sides of the park, they got this outside exercise equipment. So I go there two, three to four times a week. I take my grandkids with me because they love to do it. And then sometimes they just take their bikes and go riding. And then I exercise for that time. I do it. And I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. And, 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 and because I, and here's the main reason. Because I want to keep doing this the rest of my life. I want to keep doing ministry the rest of my life. I want to be able to relate to you the rest of my life. And I can't do that if I allow myself to get sluggish and get overweight and out of energy. Then I, I can't do it. But if I'm able to be, stay strong and healthy, I can continue doing this. And that's what my desire is, that God will keep using me all the way to the end. What's your desire? Are you, are you willing to do that? Are you... Are you willing to put in what it takes to be spiritually fit? Are you willing to put in what it takes to be to be physically fit? You, you, you just, Sammy's watching. Great. Sammy, I, I trust you're on in your commitment. And if you do, you will be a strong Christian woman. Um, uh, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's not easy. Okay? Losing weight is not easy. Oh my gosh, it's hard to eat right. It's hard. I don't know what they put in fast food. I'm not sure what they put in it to make it taste so darn good. I don't. I don't know if it's the fat. If it's. I don't know what it is. But you can't drive by a McDonald's or a Carl's or a KFC or some of the smell it and go. Oh. It takes incredible discipline to eat right. It takes incredible dis discipline not to eat too much. You just eat the right amounts of food. It takes incredible discipline to, to... You think it's been easy for me these last eight years working out three, four times a week? You think that's easy? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's a commitment that I made. 
It's something, a commitment that I made for the rest of my life. It's no different now with your spiritual growth. It is not easy. You think it's easy to get up every morning to watch a daily devotion? It's not. It's just so easy if you're not working or not going to school to sleep in. Much easier to sleep in than it is to get up to watch a daily devotion. Much easier to play video games than it is to watch Impact or Crash. It, it, it takes hard work. It takes hard work. And you have to be willing to do it if you want to be in physical shape and if you want to be in spiritual shape. You have to be willing to put in the, t the effort that it takes to do that. But guess what? God has given you that ability. It's one of the fruits of the, of the Spirit. One of the fruits of the Spirit. In fact, it's the last one mentioned. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, self-control. Self-able to control yourself. It's a, it's a fruit that the Holy Spirit has given you. You can control yourself to do those things. You have the ability. The spiritual of God has given you that ability. He's there to help you to do it. So you can do it. Don't ever stop growing in your faith. Don't ever stop growing in your faith. Make a commitment to tell yourself, this is something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life. You don't just... When you, Sammy, you're going to graduate high school now this year. You don't just graduate high school and say, okay, well, now I don't have to watch these videos anymore. And I, I've grown enough in my spiritual faith. Now I've grown enough. I, I know what it means now to be a Christian. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to listen anymore to all these devotions and all these messages. If you do that, then like we read, you go back to your old way of life. You go right back to your old way of life, and you go back to it faster than you got out of it. It's kind of like losing weight. It takes a long time to lose 10 pounds. It doesn't take near as much time to gain it back to 10 pounds. It may take you months to gain it and just weeks to gain it back. To lose it, I mean, months to lose it and, and just weeks to gain it back. It's the same thing with your spiritual growth. It takes a long time to grow spiritually, but boy, it doesn't take much time to lose it. Make a commitment to say this is something you're going to do for the rest of your life. Amen. Amen, young people. <laughs> I hope you can do this, and I know you can. So, so make that commitment, okay? Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for every young person and adult that's watching this, God, will make that commitment to say this is something I'm going to do for the rest of my life and that they honor that commitment. And that, God, you, you fill them with your spirit so that they have the fruit of the Spirit, that, that self-control to be able to do that. And we pray all this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining. I trust that many of you hopefully will share this to get the word out to more people. Uh, and then I hope to see many of you Tuesday night at Impact and Wednesday night at Crash. God bless you all. Have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. Bye.